Langkawi. The name itself conjures up images of emerald waters, ancient rainforests and mystical legends. A jewel of an archipelago, adrift in the Andaman Sea. But I wasn't drawn here for simple relaxation. No. Langkawi whispered a siren song of adventure, and I, ever the explorer, was powerless to resist. My heart quickened at the thought of the open water, the wind in my hair. Today, the adventure was a jet ski tour, a thrilling rendezvous with the legendary Diang Bunting Island. The air crackled with excitement at the marina. The roar of engines, the salty tang of the sea, the sun beating down. It was a sensory cocktail that sent my pulse racing. Strapping on the life jacket felt symbolic, like donning a superhero's cape. The guide, his face weathered by the sun and sea, flashed a reassuring smile. Instructions delivered, safety checks complete. It was time. Time to unleash the power of the jet ski and answer the call of the open sea. And then we were off. The jet ski surged forward, a joyous torrent of spray in its wake. The wind whipped at my face, the sun warm on my skin. The world became a blur of turquoise and emerald, the sky a dazzling canopy of blue. We skimmed across the water, an exhilarating dance between machine and wave. Around me, other islands rose from the sea, each one a verdant tapestry of rainforest and rock. Eagles soared overhead, their cries echoing the cries of freedom that rose within me. As we rounded a bend, a hush fell over the group. Before us, rising from the sea like a slumbering giant, lay Dayang Bunting Island. Known as the Island of the Pregnant Maiden, its silhouette, when viewed from a certain angle, resembles a pregnant woman lying on her back. The legend, whispered on the wind, spoke of a princess, a tragic love, and a lake with magical waters. We approached slowly, almost reverently, as if paying homage to the ancient tale. Section 5. Unveiling the Legend. The Maiden, the Lake, and the Wish. The legend, passed down through generations, tells of a beautiful princess, cursed with infertility. She stumbled upon a hidden freshwater lake, bathed in it, and was miraculously able to conceive. The lake, nestled in the heart of the island, became known as Pregnant Maiden Lake, a place where, it is said, wishes for fertility are granted. The air hummed with a strange energy, a palpable sense of magic and mystery. It was impossible not to be swept away by the romance and tragedy of the ancient tale. Section 6. Pregnant Maiden Lake. A Sanctuary of Serenity. We tethered our jet skis and followed a winding path through the rainforest, the air thick with the scent of damp earth and exotic blooms. The path was alive with the sounds of nature, the chirping of birds, the rustling of leaves, and the distant call of monkeys. Each step brought us deeper into this lush, green world, where the canopy above filtered the sunlight into a soft, dappled glow. And then, we emerged into a clearing. And there it was. Pregnant Maiden Lake. The sight took our breath away. It felt like stepping into a hidden paradise, a place untouched by time. The lake was a mirror, reflecting the sky and the surrounding cliffs, creating a perfect, serene image. A still, emerald heart, ringed by towering limestone cliffs. These cliffs stood like ancient guardians, protecting the tranquility of the lake. Their rugged beauty added to the sense of awe and wonder that filled the air. The water was so clear, so inviting, it was as if the lake was calling to us, urging us to dive in and become one with its serene depths. The clarity of the water revealed the vibrant life beneath the surface, fish darting playfully among the rocks and plants. We swam, we floated, we surrendered to the tranquility of the place. The cool water embraced us, washing away the heat and fatigue of our journey. Floating on our backs, we gazed up at the sky, feeling a profound sense of peace and connection with nature. The outside world, with its noise and chaos, faded away. Here, 
time seemed to stand still. The lake was a sanctuary, a place where we could escape the pressures of everyday life and simply be. Here, there was only the gentle lapping of water, the rustling of leaves, the whisper of the wind carrying the echoes of an ancient legend. It was said that the lake held mystical powers, a place where wishes were granted and dreams came true. As we floated in its serene embrace, we couldn't help but feel that magic was indeed real, and that we had found a true sanctuary of serenity. Section 7 Farewell to Paradise Lingering Glances and Fond Memories This chapter takes us on a journey of heartfelt goodbyes and cherished memories, as we bid adieu to a place that has touched our souls deeply. Leaving Dayang Bunting Island was like saying goodbye to a dear friend. The island had become more than just a destination. It was a sanctuary, a place where time seemed to stand still, allowing us to reconnect with nature and ourselves. As we motored away, I couldn't help but steal one last glance at the mystical island, its silhouette receding into the afternoon haze. Each wave that lapped against the boat seemed to whisper a farewell, a gentle reminder of the moments we had shared. The legend of the princess, the serenity of the lake, the raw beauty of the island. They were all etched into my memory. The stories told by the locals, the quiet moments by the water, and the vibrant sunsets that painted the sky in hues of orange and pink. These were the experiences that made the island unforgettable. A tangible reminder that even in our modern world, there are still places where magic lingers, where legends are born, and where the soul can find a moment of perfect peace. Dayang Bunting Island was one such place, a rare gem that offered a sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It was a place where one could truly breathe, reflect, and find solace in the beauty of nature. As we sailed away, I knew that the memories of this island would stay with me forever, a testament to the enduring allure of places untouched by time. Section 8. The Ride Back. A different kind of thrill. The return journey was a more contemplative affair. The sun began its descent, painting the sky in hues of orange, pink and purple. We rode in companionable silence, each of us lost in our thoughts replaying the day's adventures. The wind, still warm from the sun, felt like a caress on my skin. The sea, no longer a wild beast to be tamed, was now a shimmering mirror, reflecting the colours of the sky. Section 9. Reflections. The Echoes of Adventure. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the tranquil waters, I found myself lost in thought, reflecting on the journey that had brought me here. Back on dry land, the world seemed strangely still, the air lacking the salty tang of the sea. The bustling sounds of the seaside village were a stark contrast to the serene silence of the open ocean. But the memories, oh the memories lingered. Each smile, each laugh shared with friends, each breathtaking view from the hilltop, they were etched into my mind like a beautiful tapestry woven from moments of joy and wonder. The thrill of the ride, the rush of adrenaline as the jet ski cut through the waves, the wind whipping through my hair, it was an exhilarating experience that made me feel truly alive. The beauty of the island, with its lush greenery and crystal clear waters, was a sight to behold. Dayang Bunting Island, with its majestic mountains and pristine beaches, was a paradise on earth the magic of the lake, a serene oasis surrounded by verdant foliage, its surface reflecting the trees like a mirror. Dayang Bunting Lake was a place of tranquility, a sanctuary where one could find peace and solace. They were all part of me now. Each landscape, each serene expression, each moment of contemplation by the lake, they had become a part of my very being, shaping me in ways I could never have imagined. Langkawi had lived up to its promise of adventure, offering a myriad of activities that pushed my boundaries and expanded my horizons. From exploring hidden caves to hiking through dense forests, every moment was an adventure waiting to be discovered. 
but it had also offered something more, a chance to connect with nature on a deeper level. The quiet moments of meditation by the ocean, the awe-inspiring views of untouched landscapes, they brought a sense of calm and clarity that was hard to find in the chaos of everyday life. A chance to connect with nature, to feel the earth beneath my feet, to breathe in the fresh, unpolluted air, and to marvel at the beauty of the natural world. Each hike through the tropical forest, each touch of the leaves, was a reminder of the simple joys of life. To delve into ancient legends, to explore the mysterious caves that held stories of old, to learn about the rich history and culture of Langkawi. Each rock formation, each legend, added a layer of depth to my understanding of this enchanting place. And to find a moment of peace in a world that often felt chaotic. The quiet moments by the lake, the serene sunsets over the beach, they were a balm for the soul, a reminder that peace could be found even in the midst of turmoil. And as I watched the sun sink below the horizon, painting the sky in a final blaze of glory, I felt a profound sense of gratitude. Gratitude for the experiences, for the memories, for the adventure that had touched my soul in ways I could never have anticipated. Painting the sky in a final blaze of glory, the sunset was a fitting end to a day filled with wonder and discovery. The vibrant colors, the dramatic hues, they were a testament to the beauty of nature and the magic of the moment. I knew that this adventure, like all true adventures, would stay with me long after the tan lines had faded. The reflections at sunset, the peaceful end to a day in Langkawi, they were moments that would linger in my heart and mind, reminding me of the beauty and wonder of this incredible journey. Would stay with me long after the tan lines had faded. The memories, the experiences, the lessons learned, they were all packed away, ready to be revisited whenever I needed a reminder of the magic of Langkawi and the echoes of adventure that would forever resonate within me.